What's going on guys? So I am still out here at the Forest River Dealer Show. This is again where the dealers come out to look at the units they want to stock on their yard. We are going to take a look at this really cool Sierra 39BARK or BARK. And I could tell you what the BA stands for, but you might be able to guess if the RK stands for a rear kitchen. But taking a look at this coach, you're going to see a lot of really cool cues off of a much more expensive fifth wheel, but at a much lower price point. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so first of all, you need to understand that Sierra is kind of a mid-tier fifth wheel brand. They give you a lot of really nice amenities, a lot of real great space and interior floor plan layouts, but at a relatively low cost. Some things that I noticed about this unit, which are kind of cool, it does ride on a drop frame. It also has a very interesting pin box. I have not seen this pin box before, but as you can see, it has kind of this tapered front to it and that's a little bit different. It looks like it's a lot more compact than most. That being said, let's take a look at the weight and the numbers on this specific fifth wheel. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 15,500 pounds and it has a cargo capacity of 3,094 pounds. This also rides on F rated 16 inch wheels and tires. In terms of slide technology, I can see that the back slide there is rack and pinion. This uses the hidden slide system, which is kind of underneath. Coming around, I can tell right off the bat this uses the hydraulic level up system, which is an auto leveling system. The way you can differentiate between the hydraulic system and the electric system, besides one saying level up and the other one saying ground control, is that the tubes up front are going to be round on the level up system and they'll be square on the electric system. Plus you can see the large awning up here. Let's take a look at the drop frame. You can see the nice drop frame technology down here, which is going to give you a good amount of storage space. So let's take a look at the storage space. So as you can see, by having a drop frame, it really opens this area up. It gives you a tremendous storage space up here. You have some really nice three inch tall aluminum bracing underneath the floor system and a nice textured floor down here so you don't have to worry about anything dirty that you throw in there really messing with it. The baggage doors are also very thick. These real thick baggage doors. This fifth wheel also utilizes a friction hinge on the door to keep it from just swinging wildly and this has the Moride step above system on it. Also looking underneath you can see that it rides on a 12 inch I-beam runs F-rated tires, and there is no upgraded equalizer on this one. So you might want to consider, if you got a unit like this, adding something like the Road Armor system or Dexter Easy Flex or many of the other quality systems that are out there, including some from Moride like the Cree 3000 or the SRE 4000. You can see that both slides are rack and pinion on this side. Coming around to the back, does utilize all LED lighting all the way around. And the bumper back here is really tall off the ground. So it's a little higher than most. And this specific fifth wheel is sitting pretty level, so it's kind of interesting. On this side, you have what appears to be storage out here. Yeah, you have some external storage here. This would be great for holding your power cord and some things that you don't want to keep in your main storage. And over here you have an interesting access to pull your galley gray tank handle, which is kind of cool. It's covered up when you're not using it. Whereas some of them just kind of hang down below here. This one is behind this little hatch. Here's your 50 amp connection. Back of your hot water heater, back of your furnace, and your water works board. So this is a nice station. It's very clean and it absolutely is configured well with a water filter already in it. You have a power disconnect switch over here and you have an LED light right here, which there's no power going to this unit right now, otherwise it would be on. Again, nice thick baggage doors. And underneath it utilizes underbelly armor, which is essentially these four by eight sheets of hard plastic that just protects the bottom of the coach from rock and debris and water from spraying in there. 
You can see it uses a Lippert axle system. If you have the spring axles, you have a six year warranty. If you have torsion axles, you have an 11 year warranty. This has the spring axles. And it also has the King Connect Wi-Fi router extender. Coming inside of here. So this floor plan is very, very similar to a floor plan that I viewed from Heartland in one of their higher end units. And this is definitely one that I think a lot of people really like because you really get a lot of interior space and a lot of luxury for the price. You can see this has a really cool residential style rear kitchen, full residential LG refrigerator, nice dual basin sink area. I mean, this is very reminiscent of what you might have in your home. It's just a very, very residential style kitchen. You can also see that carried over to this high-end stove. This is a really, really high-end, large residential size stove and oven. It's very nice. Plus you have a full residential microwave oven as well as tons of pantry space. And then you have your freestanding dinette right here, which is on the slide. Going back to the living room area, you can see how you have your theater seating right here, and then you have love seats on each side, which can fold out into a large bed. Plus you have a really wide fireplace, nice entertainment system, and a huge TV. Here's your control panel. I really like the look of these new control panels, a lot sleeker than many of them out there. Going in here, you have a nice closet. A lot of space for hanging up coats or even putting a mop, a broom, vacuum cleaner, things like that. Coming up into the bathroom area. This is a very impressive bathroom. Dual vanities, nice center cabinet area, mirrors, lots of cabinets and drawers here for storage. Plus you have an enormous shower area. He used a different kind of a marbleized texture for the top half of the two-piece shower. You have your storage here, foot flush toilet, very large bathroom. Coming into the master bedroom, king size bed. You have about a foot on this side, about the same on the other side. Has some huge closets. You have a ton of space in here, plus room for a washer and dryer assembly, stackable, as well as tons of room back there for anything else you might want to put in here. This is a huge closet. You have an air conditioning in the bedroom, which is ducted. It is a Coleman Mach 3 air conditioning system. Coming back down, you also have your main air conditioning in here. Overall, though, this is a really nice floor plan. They've done a great job. Again, it's very reminiscent of some of the more expensive units that I've seen that are in the eighty dollars to $100,000 price range. But what they're telling me is that you should be able to get into one of these for the mid to low 40s which is gonna leave you a lot of extra money to do suspension upgrades, tire, wheel upgrades, anything you wanna to do to make this thing safer while you tow, even though it is a very well-equipped unit. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.